Alrighty, let's get this party started. Hey, what's going on you guys? I'm Veggie Rose. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time stopping by, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. It looks like this and the little notification bell so that you will be notified every time a new video goes up, which is every Monday, Wednesday, and sweet Saturday when we make some sort of dessert or vegan sweet treat. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a delicious recipe that it is like perfect for Valentine's Day, which is coming up now. If you're making it just for yourself, if you're making it for yourself and your partner or whatever the case may be, or your entire family, I've got you covered. This is going to be awesome and delicious. We are making vegan steaks, but you already knew that because you saw the title. But anyways, we're going to be making vegan steaks. They're going to be so easy to make and absolutely just delicious. Not to mention kid friendly. My kids absolutely love this stuff. So let's get that. Shall we get started? Let's go. All right. So we have half of a cup of mashed up white beans. And these are great northern beans. Any white beans would work. White beans are just milder in taste. So I'm using half of a cup of mashed up white beans. I'm also going to be adding into our mixing bowl two tablespoons of soy sauce, but of course you could use um, tamari and you could also use um, amino acids if you prefer. Um, I'm also going to be adding in two tablespoons of uh, tomato sauce and I've got two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. That's what the recipe calls for, but I have a few, a little left here. And I'm just gonna call that two tablespoons. Of course, like a, of course, like a regular person, you could use a whisk. But of course, I always do things the opposite of normal ways. So I'm not using a whisk. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our spices. And for our spices, I have half a teaspoon of black pepper. But you could do black pepper to taste. Um, I do black pepper, uh, salt and pepper to taste pretty much. Um, then we are also adding in one teaspoon of paprika, one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder and onion powder. And I'll have the link down below with all of the uh, ingredients and all that good stuff. And this recipe is going to actually give you four vegan steaks. However, if you only want to do two, you can um, half the recipe. Also, um, if you're only doing one, for example, and, um, and then you end up doing the smaller batch, what you could do is just freeze them. Either way, you can actually freeze these and then just toss them and, and fry them up whenever you like. A quick warning, at this point, um, your mix is going to taste slightly on the saltier, more like over spice side, and that's because we're going to be adding a cup and a fourth of uh, vital wheat gluten flour. And we're going to go ahead and mix that up. So basically, since we're adding um, this extra flour, we're also going to be adding more liquid. You want that base to have a very, very like bold flavor simply because everything else is going to dilute your flavoring. All right, so I just mix it up until everything is kind of like crumbly. I'm also going to be adding in I'm also adding in half a cup of vegetable broth or vegetable stock um, and I'm going to just kind of like pour that in slowly because you don't want this to be like overly wet um, and I, whenever I pour in my flour I'm not like super duper exact. I don't like kind of like scrape it off the top or whatever so that's why I do my uh, liquid a little slower to make sure that I don't add in too much. I'm going to go in with my hands. Just make sure your hands are clean. And I'm going to start kneading this together just to see how we're doing and if we need any extra um, flour or liquid. Right now it's looking dry, but again, you just have to make sure that all your ingredients are incorporating. So this is actually good this way. I like it this way. It's uh, You still see a little bit of the flour, but you just have to knead it longer. Um, so we're going to be kneading this for three to four minutes. 
All right, so this is what our seitan looks like now. You'll see little pieces of your bean, but that's perfectly fine. So next, what are we doing? We're gonna go ahead, cut and roll this guy. We're gonna cut it in half. All right. We're cutting our portions at this point, and then we're gonna go ahead and cut it in half yet again. And then one more time. So we're gonna cut this into four pieces, and I'm gonna go ahead and start rolling this guy out. What? Yep. We're gonna go ahead and roll this guy out. I'm gonna just roll. <laughs> and I'm rolling this so you don't have like really thick um, a piece of seitan also because it gives it like a more, like it gives it that look of sort of like steak that um, we're all familiar with. I just like to roll these guys until they're about like a fourth of an inch, approximately like a fourth of an inch thick all the way around, just because when you cook these and steam these, um, these will actually plump up just a little. Um, if you boil them, they'll plump up a lot more, but if you steam them, they'll stay fairly uh, close to the size that you cook them, not to mention um, the texture. I always think that the texture of seitan is just better when you steam it. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing to this one, and you're just gonna continue to do that to all of these until you're done. Um, and yeah, so if you wanna do uh, two, you can go ahead and steam these. If you wanna do just one, you can roll all of them out and freeze the rest of these. Um, or another thing that I like to do is, um, I actually like to cut my extras into little pieces so I cut them into bite-sized pieces and then I just toss them in this is already a bag that I had frozen um, I'll just toss them into this little baggie and then just freeze them and then you can also freeze them as a whole steak or you could freeze them as little bite-sized pieces I'll link the recipe down below to my um, vegan chicken bites which are very crispy and it's absolutely delicious um it tastes like uh like fast food nuggets that's why i save these guys because my son loves these like as nuggets so i'll save these and then whenever i'm ready to make them uh you can thaw these and then batter them up bread them and then uh you can fry them but of course you have to steam them first because these have not been steamed so you steam them after they've been thawed and then you can go ahead batter them and fry them so next what I'm gonna do is just put these to steam covered for 45 minutes and then we'll be right back. All right guys, so our steaks are out of the steamer and you can still see like the little pieces of the beans. You can pick them off if you like or you could just leave it like that because it'll come off once we like kinda like pan fry it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our marinade. We're gonna start off our marinade with three tablespoons of soy sauce. And this marinade that I'm giving you here um, is for two steaks. If you want to make all four, you're gonna double this. Um, the recipe down below is actually double this marinade. We've got half a teaspoon of paprika. I meant to say a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika. All right, so a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth of a teaspoon of paprika, a fourth of a teaspoon of onion powder, and a fourth of a teaspoon of garlic powder, all one fourth of a teaspoon. We're also adding in one teaspoon of agave and a small pinch of salt and a small pinch of pepper. Then we're gonna go ahead and just mix that up. Next, we're gonna go ahead and just pour our marinade into a little Ziploc bag. And then we're gonna go ahead and place in our vegan steaks. Okay, close that up, really good. And I like to just kind of like toss around the marinade to make sure it gets like in between the two. And we're gonna go ahead and let this sit for one hour, at least one hour. So what I like to do is let it sit kind of like this way for half an hour and then um, in 30 minutes, I like to kind of like move the mixture around again and then flip it around so that the other side could get up, get all of that delicious flavor. And we're gonna go ahead and cook these guys up even though they're already cooked, but we're gonna go ahead and brown these. So I'm gonna go ahead and toss some uh, vegetable oil into my skillet. You can use any pan you like. 
and this is vegetable oil you're going to use olive oil and then i'm also going to be adding in some vegan butter and this vegan butter is just there to give some extra flavor this is the way i used to cook my steaks before i went vegan so i'm cooking my vegan steak the same exact way for the same flavor effect and then we're going to go ahead and add in our vegan steaks and next to the steaks i'm just going to go ahead and add a couple like six uh pieces of garlic cloves and i've gone ahead and smashed them with the peel still on and i'm also adding in a couple sprigs of thyme for fragrance and for flavor and i'm just tilting the pan over to the side and um, drizzling some of that oil with all that flavor right over the steaks to give it added juiciness and flavor and we're gonna go ahead i'm just moving around the garlic just to keep them from burning and to add flavor on top of the steak itself and then we're gonna go ahead and flip these this is at a medium high heat by the way we're gonna go ahead and flip these when they start to brown but get like a nice color you don't want these to burn so be careful and then i'm gonna go ahead and just uh, cook up some asparagus in the oil that I just made the steak in and we're gonna go ahead and uh, Plate this so I plated this with also with some roasted uh, Potatoes and I have some vegan butter over top and some thyme and there we have it There's our pretty little meal. All right guys, so it's time for the taste test cam and I'm here with Jaden because I made the steaks and I don't have any more left because as soon as they were done him and Mia sort of like piranha on the steak and now it's gone so tell them what you think about the steak even though you're not eating it right now i loved it okay you had some it, yesterday too yes i loved it it was maybe like i i ate a whole plate of it and then i ate a little extra yeah like this this could work for barbecue sauce ketchup. oh yeah you had it with barbecue a lot, sauce a lot of different condiments it would work for. and ketchup yesterday yeah so that's it you guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up if you liked it. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. If you make this recipe or any of my other recipes, I would love to see what you made and I would love to know what you think about what you made. So, um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye guys.